I am Anil Kumar and in this example, we'll graph lines and have a visual look and feel and understand slopes of lines. Question here is, graph the line that satisfies each condition. The first one is, passes through A 2 minus 1 parallel to BC with B 1 3 and C as 4 5. The second one is, slope is minus half and it passes through H03. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. This is how I will do it. So part A is passes through point A. So point A is 2 minus 1 which is 2 here and minus 1. So this is A for us. So let me write down A here. And is parallel to BC where B is 1 3 so it is 1 and 3 that point is B and C is 4 5 4 and then we have 5 which is kind of outside here 4 5 okay so it is parallel to BC so let me connect these points so we have to draw a line through A which is parallel to BC which I am just drawing so that is BC for us now parallel line postulate says so we can apply the parallel line postulate so line should have same slope right so they should have same slope so slope of both the lines should be exactly same so first part is let's find the slope itself so let's find slope of BC so for that we can use slope formula which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is the slope right so that is the slope so four point BC we are given the coordinates 1 3 and 4 and 5 x1 y1 x2 y2 so we have 5 minus 3 divided by 4 minus 1 5 minus 3 is 2 4 minus 1 is 3 so slope of this line is 2 over 3 okay you would also find from the diagram itself if you go from B to C the rise is how much? Rise is 1, 2, correct? So that is 2. And run is 1, 2, 3. 2 over 3. So you can do it from the diagram itself, right? But we'll apply this strategy to sketch the second line. From A, we need another point so that A and that point can give a slope of 2 over 3, correct? So we'll go 2 up, 3 down right I mean 2 up 1 2 and 3 to the right 1 2 3 to get the next point we can get many points by this process 1 2 1 2 3 right so there you are connecting these points will give us a line which is going to be parallel to the given line BC right so these points could be P, Q, whatever, but this line is indeed parallel to BC, right? So the idea is first find the slope of BC using the slope formula. Then you know from parallel line postulate that slope of this line, if it is parallel, has to be exactly same. Or you can say if the slopes is same, then the lines are parallel, right? So I should actually say that. Now that means the line through A should have a slope of so slope of line through a should be equal to same which is 2 over 3 right so we can always sketch a line using rise over run slope basically is change in y over change in x so that is the definition change in y is 2 and change in x is 3 so 1 2 change in y 1 2 3 change in x so that's how you could draw parallel lines from a point right 
Now part B is we are given slope as minus half and passes through 0, 3. So let's use another ink and it's the same graph paper to sketch this line. It passes through 0, 3. That means 0, 3 is this point for us. So this point is h for us. And slope is minus half. It really means what? It means change in y over change in x. We can consider minus with 1. So it is minus 1. So we come down one unit. And change in x is 2. So let's change in x in 2. So we get another point. Likewise, we can get many points. Come down one unit and two. Like this. Come down one unit and two. So like this. So these set of points, when joined together, form a straight line whose slope is going to be minus half, right? So that becomes our line for part B. Let's call this line LB, for example. Line for part B is this line, LB right so that is how you can draw your lines from given point or given condition i hope that gives you a fairly good idea of how to sketch the lines in the next chapter we will learn how to find equation of these lines i hope you are enjoying the journey thank you and all the best